hello guys welcome back to the show in today's video we're going to learn about how to use use springs from the react spring api we will be making something like this if it is something that you're interested in then make sure to stick around give the video a thumbs up and let's get started before we even start writing any code let's look at what the react spring documentation says about use spring so use springs allow us to create a list of springs with different configurations so basically, if you saw the last video, you saw that in uSpring, we move an item from position A to position B, which is just one item. So in uSprings, we will move multiple items from position A to position B. And this is done by importing uSprings and animated from React Spring. When you specify the spring, you specify the number, so the number of elements that you want to add the animation to and this is the configuration for the config so for the styles that you want to apply to these elements and basically when you get here you have the animated.dev which we saw in the last tutorial that it is a way to allow react to understand the spring animation that you want for your component now let's go into visual studio code and let's see how we can actually use use springs to make this i will start by creating a directory in my components and I'll name this springs and inside of springs what I'm going to do is to create a new file called springs.txx and as usual what I'm going to do is to import react from react so I've imported react from react and I've imported use springs and animated from react spring what we need to now look at is what we want to do so we want to create something like this and the way that use springs work is that you have a set of configurations that you want to look through and pass to your components or the thing that you want to animate. So I'm going to create a list of configurations that I want my component to have. So what I will do is to create a list and this list will contain objects, okay? JavaScript objects. This is because when you're using uSprings, as you can see, you pass it an object, right? the the data that you pass it is is an object so i have a list and i will have inside of the list objects you can also pass it a function if you want um, but we are not going to pass it a function we want to pass it an object so i will go back into the application and then write this config so the configuration that i would like to pass it is this so the first configuration that i would like to pass it is i've given it an id of one then i'm saying if you saw in the last tutorial that the springs they have a from which is where you want your animation to start from and a two that is where you want your animation to end let me get rid of the delay and the config for now so what i want is i want it to start from a background color of this a width of 10 pixels and i want it to end with a background color of this and a width of 200 pixels i'm going to duplicate this two more times because again, the use springs is used to move elements, all right? It's used to move a list of elements, not one, multiple elements from one state to the other. So I'll go ahead and duplicate this and I'll give this two, I'll give this three. Okay, so we have this now and I will just mix this around so that we have something a bit, you know, different. We have the data that we want the data that contains the configuration or the animation that we want to pass to our components all right so i'll go ahead and create a react component so i'll call it my component what we will return for now is a fragment then i have hello just to make sure that everything is working and we can go on and add the animation so i'll do a sport like so then i'll go into the application then i'll go into then i'll say import my component from i want to import it from component slash springs like so and the last thing i need to do is to just render this so i'll say my component like so and as you can see everything is working it says hello so we are confident we'll be able to add our animation to it now that we've got this out of the way what we need to do is to pass the data to use spring so what i'm gonna do is that over here remember that we use use spring inside of the react hook component okay we use it inside of component if you use use spring outside of the my component function you get an error so make sure that you use use spring inside of this place and not here if you go ahead and say con spring use 
you will get an error what you need to do is to move this inside of the react hook component so use springs expect two arguments right the first argument is the number of springs to generate and the second argument is the array of spring configuration the number of springs that i would like to generate is one two and three all right so i'll pass it three or what i can say since i'm using an array i can say that data dot length and the second argument is the array of spring configuration and the array of spring configuration that i would like to pass to you springs is data dot map i'm looping through this data this array that i have i'm looping through and when i look through i have this object okay i do have an object what i want to do is to extract from the object something okay so if you know about javascript objects what i can do is to say i do not want the id i extract from it the id and i pass everything else okay then i pass everything else that i want so um let me add a config to this one just so you guys understand what i mean so i'll add a config here and this config will have let me make mass 10 okay that will be for this config and what i would say is config and i'll return config over here if you don't understand what is happening let me show you what is happening over here so this is what is happening i've created a constant called data and i have an id id and id what i'm doing now i'm saying that data.map if i try to print out or log all the elements i can say e and i can say console.log e all right if i run this if i run this as you can see i have id from and to id from to and config all right but that's not what i want i do not want to animate my id all right i do not want to animate this id i do not want to animate this id so what i can do is that i can extract id because this is an object i can extract id from it okay i extract id from it and then i can say that give me everything else okay and then i can say config i need to put this inside of like that now if i run this as you can see i've got from to from to config from and to without the id and basically what what you can do this shouldn't be config this could be for instance from and you still get the same results all right so i hope you understand what i'm trying to do in the code now let's go back to the code and let's continue with the animation so now that you know what is happening I, I do have just the config that i need so i'll go ahead and use this to animate the application all right and use this to animate the component that i'm trying to animate so instead of returning hello now what i'm gonna say is that i want to return springs i want to return this spring dot map because the return element of this spring is an array or a list so i'm looping through that list then i'm getting out of the list the spring and the index all right so when i look through the list i'm getting this is one spring that is another spring and this is another spring so i'm getting each individual object over here is called a spring all right so i'm getting that and the index which is zero one and two all right the index and what i'm saying is that when you get this what i want you to do is to return animated.dev so i'll say div so i want you to return a div but again as you saw in the first tutorial if you just pass a div to it react wouldn't know how to animate this spring because react doesn't know what this spring is all right so you need to add animated.dev animated.dev like so and what we're going to do is to pass it a key else we will get an error in the console so the key will be data so this data that we have over here is an array we use this index over here okay so it will look through this the index will be 0 1 and 2 and then when it is 0 we get this and then we can get the id from it okay so i can say dot id so basically what i'm trying to do is that data the map what i get is i get something and an index if i console.log the index 
this is what I get. I get 0, 1, and 2. All right. So if I use the 0, 1, and 2 on this data over here and index, what I'm going to do is to get this, that, and that. All right. And if I try to extract the ID, the ID, as you can see, I've got one, two, and three. So we are extracting the ID from the data. Let's go back to the application. So inside of my application, I know that I have the key, which is fine. Now I need to add the style. I want to spread the spring. Okay. I'm saying, give me everything related to the spring. So imagine I have cons A and I have cons B and I do spread A. What I'm saying is that everything that A has spread it inside of B. All right. If I do console.log B, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four. So that is the same thing happening to this object. I'm spreading whatever is contained inside when it's looping through whatever is containing the object, I'm spreading it in there. And then what I want to do is to add some extra properties. So the properties that I'm going to add, just so we can distinguish between the different divs that we have, I would like to add height. Now let's check the browser and let's see if everything is working as we expect it to. So I go to the browser and as you can see, we have this. What I'm gonna do now is to add some extra config to these and let's see how they are affected by the configurations that I add. Okay, so I've gone along and added some configurations. As you can see, I do have a config here, which says mass 10, tension 10, delay 1000. I do have one over here as well, which says a friction of 40, a mass of 20. Then I do one have one here as well, which is a mass of 40. Now let's see how these configurations do affect the animation okay now they are a bit more animated as you can see how they're moving now this is the one with the delay and if you want to know more about the configurations you can come to the react spring documentation you can click on the common apis and these are the configurations it has mass tension friction clamp duration and a lot more and you can play around with it and just see whatever you want and you can use it as you please. So in short, that is how React Springs work. If you want to animate just a single component, you use USpring. If you want to animate more components, you use USprings. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial.